hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel we really appreciate all you do god bless you do not take it for granted and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country PDP has just come out with an interesting one. You know, there's been a lot of crisis um, within the People's Democratic Party at different levels. To the extent that even a reconciliatory um, committee was set up, headed by former Senate President Bukola Saraki, to bring aggrieved members together because the rate um, 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 party members were defecting was something else. Right now, PDP has come out with something interesting. They've come out with something they need to do to um, those that are defecting senators and reps. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, guys. But before we carry on, my people, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The reconciliatory effort of the senator Bukola Saraki led People's Democratic Party National Reconciliation Committee is responsible for the seeming delay in suing legislators who defected from the party it was launched. It was also gathered in Abuja on Saturday that the party's legal department was putting finishing touches to the necessary paperwork to seek the enforcement of the constitutional provisions with regards to defection by serving legislators. Furthermore, it was gathered that the party's legal team was anchoring its case on the provisions of Section 68 of 1 and 1G and H of the party's constitution. Section 68 of one of the party's constitution reads in part, a member of the Senate or of the House of Representatives shall vacate his seat in the house of which he is a member of. Also, Section 68G reads in part, being a person whose election to the house was sponsored by a political party, if he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which that house was elected, provided that his membership of the later political party is not as a result of a division in the political party of which he was previously a member of or a merger of two or more political parties or factions by one of which he was previously sponsored or the president of the Senate or as the case may be the Speaker of the House of Representatives receives a certificate under the hand of the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission stating that the provisions of Section 69 of this Constitution have been complied with in respect of the recall of that member. A member of the party's National Executive Committee who spoke in confidence for fear of jeopardizing the work of the Saraki-led committee said, we want to explore all options because you don't have a one shoe fits all situation in all states. There are states where all that is required is additional engagement with stakeholders. In some other states, our governors need to be more accommodating of other members because the problem in some of the states have to do with the winner-takes-it-all attitude, which has been counterproductive over the years. Yet in others, we have to manage egos, while in others, it's all about jostling to remain in contention as 2023 approaches. Either at the state or the federal level, we have to manage all of these issues. We are ready to apply the carrot and the stick approach. In areas where we need to apply the carrot, we will. In areas where the stick is appropriate, we would have to apply that. When contacted, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Kola Oluk Bodian, while confirming the party's plan to go to court, said, our party is determined to ensure that the mandate given to the party which our members took to the various state and national assembly is fully accounted for. None of our members will take our mandate to another party. The constitution is very clear on this issue. If in the past people did not get away with it, that is in the past. Now we will pursue this matter to its logical conclusion. He also noted that the matter was discussed and agreed upon during the party's National Executive Committee meeting held in December 2019. Olubodoya further said, Let it be on record that any legislator elected on the platform of PDP, not only in a Boeing state, but elsewhere, will not take our mandate anywhere else. I want to assure Nigerians that we are going to challenge its defection. 
And for the first time, we are going to subject that process to judicial test because it is clearly stated in the Constitution that unless there is a division within the party, you cannot be a member of a parliament and change parties. That part of our Constitution has not been amended as we speak. So um, <laughs> this one, I don't know if this one is just to deter uh, um, um, House of Reps members or senators from decamping because personal interest is everywhere. Maybe they are looking that it's very juicy on the other side and then um, they are not getting what they want. Their personal interest or their personal ambition are not being given attention in the current party where they are and they want to crisscross. PDP is putting it out to them that, you know what, it's not going to happen. If it has happened in the past, it will not happen now. That unless that there is an issue in the party and they decided to send some people away, that is different. But if you decide to decamp, you cannot decamp with the party's mandate. I don't know if he's speaking from um, a Boeing state governor. You know, Dave Umayi moved from the People's Democratic Party from PDP to the All Progressive Congress, but they didn't say anything about governors. They are just specifically stating to um, senators and reps. Maybe they are still putting things together for governors. I don't know what the case of governors will be. Like Dave Umayi, who moved camp. There are several governors that have moved camp, and uh, uh, um, they still continue to be the governor of the state. Dave Umayi is still the governor of Ebony State. PDP, because of the um, reconciliation that they are working towards to get everything in order, to get their house in order ahead of 2023, this is also their strategy to be more united. It's a good strategy anyway because they don't want a situation where they feel that they have um, enough numbers and at the end of the day, um, 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 senators and rep members coming out to say, you know what, um, I'm leaving PDP, I'm moving out. They should know the consequences. They should know what is going to happen. If they move party, then that position, they, they are not moving with the mandate. Probably that is what uh, PDP is driving at. And they have stated that they are ready to go to the last they will follow it to the judiciary to the last bit. They will ensure that um, they enforce all that they've stated. Quite interesting. Politics in Nigeria, the more you look, the less you see. And all of these politicians' personal interest is all circled around. You know, they're moving from year to there, from A to B. And it's not as though they are moving because they really want change, that they truly want change. Quite a different case. Anyway, guys, this is PDP vowing to sue defected uh, um, um, senators and reps. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.